You can't even tell that you can't tell me that this is not my damn hair. You cannot tell me that this is not growing out of my scalp. We are gonna start off by installing this beautiful deep wave unit. This $200 deep wave unit i'm not gonna talk too much okay y'all so we're just gonna line it right on top of the glue all right y'all as y'all always know i love to go in with my nails i usually have acrylics but we don't got acrylics today because i'm getting my nails done tomorrow and we're just gonna press her in like so now this wig is not from you nice hair or Eunice hair but they have sent me a unit before so I'm gonna use their um, elastic band because I can't find my regular ones and we are just going to tie that down tightly y'all already know the drill with that one so now that she is down I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit just so that I have every single Part of this lace tacked down I am very much going to go ahead and blow dry my hair on a cool mode for 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and throw in some ebon hair spray and set the glue but I just wanted to show you guys this is a 36 inch unit apparently allegedly who knows so boom. she is looking over plump Alrighty y'all, so now I'm just gonna go in using my scissors and we're just gonna snip the wig. Again, please ignore the overplucking. We gonna get into her a little soon. And as always, you never wanna cut straight, always in a zigzag form. Now that we look at real skirt, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to take my foundation. Usually I actually would always go in starting off with the ebon hair spray and then spray it on and then throw foundation on. But on TikTok, as always, the girlies was like, just put the foundation on first, pack it in, and then you're gonna use the ebon or whatever lace adhesive you wanna use. Press it down and it gives it that like nice melted look. Now, the only downside about this wig is that it is not, y'all, I repeat, she is not HD at all. Like, y'all can literally see the outline. She is not HD. But, you know, you get what you pay for. You feel me? So I'm just going in and packing that into the lace. It actually looks really good. Besides it looking like mad 3D-ish, me pressing the foundation on. And of course, y'all, my Finito Ruby Kisses um, foundation is what I always use. That as well as the Ebon Hair Mousse. Um, but I feel like using a mousse because the mousse can get very messy and I don't have the time for that because I'm about to go see my baby Drake. And I was supposed to be left my house by now, but it is what it is. Um, I don't think I'm going to do baby hairs. So, actually, let's see what I'm going to do to this hair. So, I try to not overuse my wax stick, y'all, because the number one worst thing you could do is have your hair look super duper, like, waxy and tacky. So, I'm just using enough just to kind of, oh, shit, my bad, y'all. It focused out. Just using enough to kind of, like, get the hairs out of my face. Um, and by how it's looking, I'm probably going through baby hairs. So I'm a part this section. Then of course, I'm going to fix that over plucking as you guys can see with some spray, but I just want to see something. Look, it's scary, huh? Y'all don't worry. We gonna, we gonna get it together. I promise. But yeah, so now we're going to go in using the Evan hairspray. Or working with Tom so we got to be very careful I'm gonna take her right over here and I'm gonna take the spray as always you want to spray some on your fingertip not directly on the lace I don't know the science behind spraying it on your finger 
but I just know it works better than me directly spraying it onto the lace. So that's what we're gonna do. And you wanna pack it in until like there's no, there's no like white adhesive. And you don't wanna rub it in, like just literally pack it in. All right, y'all, we had to change the location. So I'm gonna show you guys how this shit is looking. I don't really know how it's looking, but we gonna, we gonna see. I look crazy. I'm just hoping that my face sweats because I fucking forgot my face powder at home. And then my dumbass brought a uh, mattifying setting powder. So I look good. And I use a pink setting powder. So it's not so much. All right. Ooh, God damn, this is stuck. Nah, not this being my first real good install. Plucked by me. Mm. Can y'all believe that I fucking forgot my spray that I was going to use to like hide this? So we gonna have to we gonna have to do something about that. Yo, I fucking overdid it to this wig, y'all, like real bad. I can't find my brush for some reason, but I'm gonna go in using my comb. I go in with my comb anyway. And I'm using this ORS uh, from the Olive Oil brand. And I'm just going to take some of that. Oh, I didn't even think it was all late like that. Simple. So now, <laughs> bro, this video is gonna be so long. So now I'm gonna just take my spray. It's no conditioner in here, but I'm gonna use this uh, ORS curls, quenching curls, and some water. And we're gonna get the hair quenched up. I'm kind of sad because I liked it uh, poofy. Just making sure that every strand has some of the conditioner in it. I usually always have a diffuser, y'all, but I am not at home. As a matter of fact, I'll check to see if the hotel got a diffuser. They probably do. Who knows? Alrighty, y'all. And just like that, this is the unit. This is a super dry, y'all. I just came from seeing my baby for the Drake and <laughs> I had to tell about fucking life. Um, y'all can hear my voice is going because it is. And then on top of that, I'm fried. Had a great ass time. Um, I don't know if I'm really gonna share this with y'all, because I'm like, it looks cute right now, but I know that like when I like wake up in the morning, it's gonna give me a lot of problems. Like it's like literally like it tangles. That's one, cool, whatever. And two, if y'all literally notice the front, like the frontal part of the hair is like so much shorter than the rest of the hair. Stretched. The frontal is probably like 28 inches. 26 no more than 28 inches i would rate this wig probably like i want to say <clears throat> like if you're looking for a cheap affordable wig like for right now because i know not everybody could afford a 500 dollars wig i would say for the summer this is a cute wig. you can just throw it in some silicone mix and you know she'll be fine but like if you want longevity girl this is not her she gives me a synthetic blend but she is cute though and i also kind of wanted to show off my like my hair skills y'all because like no shade i ain't the best at this shit. i am not the best at all whatsoever but literally like you can't even tell that you can't tell me that this is not my damn hair you cannot tell me that this is not growing out of my scalp okay her and she overplugs just a little mind your business but um 
yeah i just wanted to come in here and show you guys like the end result i hope i don't look chopped because i look chopped i'm probably not gonna post this video but um i've been mia y'all because i have decided to go into nursing school and i'm like in my way or making my way in there and it's like a lot going on i have a lot of classes and stuff like that that's really why like if i was to go in depth with how like random my life was like i always have some random shit going on but I'm just working on me and I'm just, you know, focused on myself. But yeah, y'all, as always, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much for rocking with me as always. Even though your girl be MIA, I am working on something huge for like my life. And when I hope, hopefully when I reach that goal in the next like six months, um, you know, life will take off or at least life would trigger me to continue doing what I'm doing because it's working.